Hi, this is Angela Cox, and I am going to show you how to sew up the hole on your dinosaur. So my dinosaur is all stuffed, and the only step that I have left is sewing up the hole here. So before I begin, I am going to need a threaded needle, right, a needle with a knot at the end. I'm going to need some scissors, and I might need a pin, right? So first of all, we're going to use the ladder stitch. And here we go, we're going to go to the hole, and the first step to the ladder stitch is I need to come up from underneath. So it looks like my needle is poking in, and I want my ugly knot inside of the hole. Right? I'm going to trim that knot. See how I have all these extra threads there? I don't want those sticking out. So it looks like now... I have just a neat a thread coming out of the top of the hole, right? Now, sometimes when I do the ladder stitch, I'm going to sew along this edge, right? And it's best if these edges are kind of tucked together a little bit, kind of like that. Now, sometimes if my hole is big, it's nice to pin it, remember both, through both edges, so that I can keep that edge just so it looks a little bit, it's a little bit easier to sew, right? See how these edges are folded over? Now the ladder stitch, turn my dino around. The ladder stitch is an easy stitch, but it's not very strong, right? And anytime you have a hole, if you accidentally have a hole, say you got one over here, over here, you can use the ladder stitch to sew it up. So how it works, is I always sew parallel to the seam. So I'm not going to sew this way. I'm going to sew this way, right? And I just go on one side of my seam, and I'm going to go in and out just like that, right? And then I'm going to pull it tight. <clears throat> right, pull it tight. And you can see my stitch just a little tiny right there. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Right? It's kind of like lacing up your shoes where you do one side in and out and then the other side in and out. And see how it goes across there? And then pull it tight. This side in and out. Pull it tight. This side in and out. Pull it tight. Just like that. Now, the closer together that you make these stitches, and the smaller you make them, the more invisible they're going to be, and the better they're going to hold. Right? Just like that. In and out. And I'm going to do this all the way to the end. This side. In and out. Pull it tight. And then this side. In and out. Pull it tight all the way to the end, one side, and then the other. Now, when you get to the pin, right, see how I'm starting to get close to the pin here? Take it out. The only reason I have this pin is to hold it in place, right? Once I no longer need it, I'm just going to take it out. Okay? So, this side in and out, then this side. And remember, you don't want to do it right on the edge. You want to tuck it in a little bit. This side, in and out, just like that. This side, in and out. Oops, and see how it caught on my tail? Just pull it off. This side. Now, notice I'm starting to get to the end. My, my hole is getting sewn up, and I'm starting to get to the end. And at the end, you're going to tie it off, and I'll show you how to do that as soon as I get to the end. One side, and then the other. Okay? So, first of all, make sure that you sew all the way to the end. Right? Don't stop before this, the hole is completely sewed up. Sometimes people get impatient. Do 
don't let that be you. Right? And again, if it loops around the tail, just pull it off. Right here. So it in and out. I'm starting to get to the end. And this leg is a little bit in the way. Just push it up. Okay, so now I'm to the end here. And I have to tie it off. So as close as I can to the inside of this seam, I'm just going to make a little stitch in and out, and then I'm going to go through this loop. How many times do you think I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it three times. One, then I'm going to do it on the other side, because nothing is more annoying than sewing something and having it come out because you didn't tie it off correctly. Two, and then three, right there. Now you can kind of see where I tied it off just a little bit, but not much. Okay, and then I'm gonna snip it, and I'm done. There's my little dinosaur. At this point, you can, you need to, so when you're all the way done, you're gonna post a picture in Schoology of both sides of the dinosaur so that you can turn it in and get a grade.